I am going to talk about a very significant mandatory and hot topic and the topic is can you speak English without grammar? Can you speak good English without grammar, without memorizing the rules of grammar? By this, I don't mean that. Ignore grammar. I don't have specific speculations on this topic. I have some thoughts which I want to share with you. Just think yet, you come across a native English speaker and ask him about the that you do you know about the tenses auxiliary verbs and phrasal verbs and different rules of english grammar he will look at you and say oh by man i don't know any of them and i don't want to explain all those and i don't have the requirement of that and it is exactly true and even if you think that all the English speakers speak perfectly, grammatically, correct English. Do you think? Let me know in the comment section. No, all the time they are not grammatically true. By this I mean that it is a scientific confirmation that spoken English differs from the written English. Because in written English, you have the time to think over your grammar and the way at the best possible way to express your thoughts but this is not the case in spoken English and think about that if you are a college student and you have to write an essay on any of the topic you have to be formal you have to stick to the formal grammar but if you are posting a text on the Instagram or if you are texting someone it's not mandatory it's not necessary to be formal and to stick to the grammatical rules because spoken English is mainly different from the written English in written English we have to be formal we have to align with the grammatical rules and now this is the situation if you are like me because you are living in a non English speaking country and you are not interested in English and you don't want to dig into the grammar and yet you want to speak English then what is the solution just think about the child sometimes you see that a child living in English community speaks very good English for their age why there are four rules for this. They apply in their life unconsciously because they don't know the grammar at that time. The number one, they listen a lot. Number two, they listen attentively. Number three, they mimic the adults. They listen a lot and they listen every time they are adults. And they are very attentive to what the adults are saying to them. And they actually mimic, they actually repeat the words and the sentences when they are needed. And they are not tired of that process. And most important thing is that they are exposed to the environment. Because exposure to any environment plays a significant role in speaking any language. And now, you place yourself in place of the child. And you are not interested in learning the grammar rules. Think yourself as a child. You have to listen a lot of stuff, videos, content in English. And you have to be very attentive like the child. You have to attentive in order to grasp the English language from the context, from the connotations, from the connections. And you have to actually speak that language in your real life. You have to repeat off and on those words and phrases so that those words and phrases stay with you. 
and you should stick to that rules that you should not be tired of repeating those words and phrases and sentences and expressions in your language no off days no excuses set a target for you and for example if you don't know anything and if you don't know the way how to express your thought a specific thought in the specific context then search for it ask somebody for it to give you the answer and look for look up for it in the google and you can easily find the way and then you have to when you for example when you listen a lot you have a massive input into your brain and then you can reproduce because reproduction or speaking in english in actual situation is the most important target because and most important thing is that when you speak and when you utilize english language or any language in the real life and you face and you make mistakes and you face the awkward situations and next time you try to avoid those mistakes and avoid the embarrassing situation which you felt in the past and you should have to repeat again and again the words in your own language in this way you can improve your speaking skills and you have never to be never forget your target why you are learning this language because this target setting will benefit you a lot everywhere because ultimate goal why you are speaking english this will motivate you to stay motivated and if you are not interested if you are not interested in learning english grammar then you have to work a lot remember in the beginning you have to do a lot and with the passage of time it will be less and less but in the beginning you have to suck english language by listening a lot by paying attention to the words and the phrases then you have to mimic the words and phrases and the last point is that you have to actually speak and utilize those words in those specific situations and after this note i let me know in the comment section is grammar important for you to speak english or environment is better for speaking english and how you can immerse yourself with english and how you can create an english environment these are some of the questions which i have spoke uh, which i have told you a lot so till the next video stay happy stay blessed let me know in the comment section how did you find this video and thank you so much have a nice day